Thomas Jefferson was born near the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia in April of 1743. The third of eight children, Thomas was the first male born and thus theoretically heir to all the family's physical assets. From his father, a self-made man, he inherited a drive for self-reliance and learning. Jefferson's father taught him everything he needed to know to run a large plantation, yet told him, never ask another to do for you what you can do for yourself. When Jefferson left for college in 1759, he was a charming, well-mannered, and well-liked young man. However, he was not particularly handsome. Standing over six feet tall, lean with sandy reddish blonde hair, he earned nicknames like Long Tom. The College of William and Mary resides in Williamsburg, Virginia, the state capital at the time, facing the Virginia House of Burgesses. The Virginia House of Burgesses was the state's lower legislated chamber of their bicameral political system, much like what is now our House of Representatives on the national level. Williamsburg was the political, social, and cultural center of the Upper South in these pre-revolutionary days and was an ideal place for Jefferson to flourish mentally and socially. Jefferson began his education at William and Mary, registering as a philosophy student. In the 1700s, philosophy schools taught what now would be considered science courses. However, Jefferson's interests were not limited to one subject. He studied everything from Spanish to Greek to French to mathematics to rhetoric to literature. He became a child of the Age of Enlightenment, a movement that stressed rationality, man's control over his own destiny, and a scientific, not theological approach to political and social issues.